hi guys and welcome back to my channel uh, my name is margaret small and i post up every friday i post up food tutorials where i go to eat my fitness workouts and traveling so guys if this is your cup of tea hit that subscribe button hit that bell button so you can be notified we post up every fridays guys you don't want to miss this you don't want to miss it so as you can tell we are back in the kitchen my favorite place to be and guess what i'm bringing you one of my favorite salad i absolutely love salad so i'm calling all my salad queens and kings to join me let's make a quick and simple salad that is going to leave you full and wanting more let's get cooking guys <laughs> okay so guys as I said, I'm making um, salad and it's actually a take on Asian slow salad. Um, my favorite. I eat this like every week. So I hope you're going to eat the same one every week. Anyway, guys. So to kickstart off your salad, you're going to need your cabbage. So I've got two separate cabbages here. So I've got the white cabbage and then I've got the red cabbage. With the red cabbage, I actually soaked it in uh, white vinegar. That helps it take out the redness or the purple color. So, it, you know, it doesn't affect all the vegetables that you have. And for the next one, I love green. I've got avocado and my cucumber and spring onion. This is just optional, so you don't have to actually add, the, add this in your salad. You can add it, you can take it out, or you can replace it with carrots. You need, you need the crunchiness. That's what helps. So, yeah. And, uh, guys, the fact that this is salad, you need protein. So, adding your nuts. I love me some nuts. So, guys. I have ideally I would have loved to you know grind or hit the nuts so they're sort of like not too chunky but yeah so we're going to add our nuts uh, which helps with the protein like you know if you're not going to have anything inside your salad so this works as the protein that you need in the salad and um, again spring onions we have to have it different ways I have spring onions, sort of like, you know, straight cut, cut from, you know, separately from the first one you saw. And I have another pair thing here. I love sesame seeds. So I've got the black, the black sesame seeds and the white sesame seeds. You don't have to add this, but if you want your salad to pop, I recommend you add that. Now I have my herbs, my herbs here. I've got um, ginger, I've got ginger, I've got garlic, and I have chili or cut in scallion, like you know, like the cigarette matchstick size. So you don't have to do that, but um, yeah, it just makes the salad pop. Again, I'm all about presentation and taste and flavor. That's what you need, and I also have. Again, chili cut different ways. You don't have to add this again because you already got the other ones. But it, if you're like me and love chilies, then this is just a top up. And finally, for the salad dressing, you need so you have probably seen this. No, not probably. You have actually seen this in my previous video. Is I love sweet teriyaki sauce or sweet hoisin sauce. This one is sweet hoisin sauce. I have used rice wine vinegar and is easy, simple to make. I have used um, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, hoisin sauce, and to give it a kick honey and of course my fresh herbs so that's ginger garlic chili spring onions and yeah guys this is what you get and this is the consistency you want so just outside tip from our salad 
you can use this to make salmon you can use it to make chicken okay thank me later and so our guest of our salad is going to be my white bait i love some white bait guys i love fish yeah i love fish i'm a pisces probably that's why anyway we've got white bait here we're going to sort of pan fry it because i don't like deep fried stuff so we're going to pan fry it and um you know add it to our salad and pick it off again outside tip you can always cook like jasmine rice or sticky rice and have it with your salad chef's kiss the best without further ado guys we're going to get cooking so the only thing that we're actually cooking today is the white bait and the rest we're going to assemble them so let's get cooking okay guys um as i said with the salad we don't need to cook it as you already know um the only thing we're going to cook today is the white bait so i have marinated my white bait already and the oil is heating up um usually i don't like using vegetable oil just because i find that it's too heavy it actually makes your stomach bloat so i am heating up my olive oil extra virgin olive oil and um yeah uh, just going to throw that in there because it's been heating up for quite some time Fun fact, guys, growing up, I used to eat a lot of white bait. Like, we also have um, small ones that are called uh, silver, silver something in Swahili. <laughs> oh, yeah, silver cyprin. And in Swahili, it's called omena. No, no, no. Omena is in my language. Ha, 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 ha. Omena and in Swahili is called Dagger. Those little things, those little things save my life. You don't understand. You have that with Ugali. If you're watching this from Kenya, you know what I'm talking about. Daga or Omena, Udugali, Manze, Kutakula, Chakulayote. You know what I'm talking about. And I actually do that. Like, I'm not a big fan of Ugali, but when I have Omena, <laughs> no but it's so nice it's really nice so let me know if you want me to make omena on my next video yeah if you're wondering how i got omena don't worry about it i'll just give you the recipe you tell me if it's good do you like it I like to party. So we just want to make sure that they're not sticking to the pan. problem with these things like they stick you have to have the patience guys so yeah we're playing the waiting game patience 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 <laughs>
Pero para. So, do you guys, do you guys love salad? Like, would you, would you actually eat salad on its own, or like, do you have to have your salad with something? Like, comment down below. Let me know how you like to have your salad. Oh, you know how you normally make your salad? Let me know, because. I want to give you more quick recipes that you can make within like 15 20 minutes you're out of the kitchen but also bring more salads because summer is coming up and it's the season for salad season for summer buddies um i have one recipe that i well this is best for like winter but summer recipe comment down below if you're you want me to bring it? Subscribe first of all. Subscribe. So the thing with them, um, white bait, their skin usually peels off when you're cooking them. That's the only downside to it. So that's how they look once they're cooked. I'm going to just put them on kitchen towel so they can the oil can drain So um, this is how you want your white bait look. Uh, I would probably, so most of the time you can use uh, corn flour to make it nice and crispy, which I actually used. Now I put soy sauce and it made it a little darker, but the flavor, amazing. I've, I've actually, guys. I've been munching on them, so yeah. Take that, see? I marinated with lemon juice. So, guys, um, we have finished cooking our white bath. That's how it's gonna look. And um, just to finish it off, to give it the last. Ba -ba -boom. Um, I'm going to go in with my sesame oil and my fresh herbs and soy sauce. You just need a little bit of a sesame seeds oil. Not sesame seeds, sesame oil. See that? It's going to gave your dish now i'm going to add my herbs just a little bit i actually love asian food You don't want to overcook them, you want them to be al dente, so nice and crunchy, because if you overcook them, they're going to be soggy, so keep them al dente. At this point, um, the herbs have actually, you know, marinated with the oil, and now with the next step, I'm going to add in my white bait. And finally, go in with my dark soy sauce. Okay. 
okay so guys that's how it's you want your white bit to be the consistency finally we are going to add our spring onions So as I said, if you're not a big fan of fish or you don't like the fish smell, don't worry about it because all the ingredients we put in there are going to be absorbed, like they're going to absorb the fish smell so it clears it out. And the taste, trust me. So guys, we're going to assemble our salad. As I said, the salad doesn't need to be cooked. We're going to go in with our white cabbage. You just need a handful of that and red cabbage again a handful because keep in mind all the other ingredients are going to go in there so yeah i love cabbage so i'm going to be cheeky and add in a little bit more What the reason why I love this salad is so colorful and tasty. Next, I'm going to put in my cucumber. A bit of that ginger and chilies in the corner. And finally, your avocado. And guys, as I said, the nuts are the ones that are going to lift up your salad. So going with a handful of that, you can put all of it if you want. Just our chilies to give it the color pop. My fave, the sesame seeds. So sprinkle that all around. Our spring onions. Yeah. Here we have it, guys. This is not complete. You know why? We need the sauce. We need our sauce on top. Just drizzle that all around. And voila. Here we have our Asian slow salad. Now this is complete complete on its own. You can actually eat it the way it is. As I said today, I'm going in with my white bait that you saw me cooking earlier. I'm going to add that on top and actually hold that. Let's let me. I'm hungry, so I'm going to take a bite of that. Yeah. So Take a good amount of that. Mm. So, so good. So, so good. And then, you know what, guys? You can actually have this with rice, jasmine rice, sticky rice. Trust me, that's your complete dish done. So if you're a vegetarian, vegan, 
Don't say I never told you. Okay. I'm going to add in my white bait. Take a good amount of that, guys. See that? Just place it on top. That looks so good. I'm hungry already. Finally, add a bit more of the sauce. We're all about the sauce and making the vegetables nice and juicy. Don't shy away from using your sauce. Last but not least, we garnish up. Here we have it. Ready to eat. So good. It smells so good. The flavors in that sauce and the white bait. Really, really good. Guys, that's it. It was easy, simple, quick, and voila, we have it. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and cooking with me. Let me know if you have tried this recipe and if you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Guys, it's a salad season coming up. So comment below. Let me know what other salad recipes you'd like to see. But yeah, I'm just hungry. I've got a question for you guys. Would you have fish apart from salmon, a white bait, tilapia, sea bass, sea bream with your salad? Let me know because here I am eating white bait, sweet flavor, delicious, and yeah. So I'm sure you won't have the same thing. Go to the kitchen dish this out and um, until next time let me enjoy my lunch dinner brunch whatever it is let me enjoy it thank you so much guys for sticking with me for watching this video and tell your friends tell a friend tell a friend tell your brother tell your sister tell your side thing you know we're a community that accepts everybody we love love so guys let's grow together and with a uh... anyway guys thank you so much i really appreciate you thank you for now until next time let me enjoy my food Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. <laughs>